All right, what is up everyone? It's Jake Johnston with the JJ Home Group brokered by EXP Realty. Hey, breaking down the current real estate market for you, March of 2022, the year is flying um, and we are seeing some big numbers out of the real estate market. No surprise if you've been in the market, if you've been keeping tabs on things, you've probably seen this be the trend, honestly, since like last summer. So I'm gonna jump in here real quick, share my screen with you guys and show you the numbers that I've just crunched here for March of 2022, let's get to it. So first off the sheet here, you can see we're tracking these areas over here. So I'm really gonna hit the overview, Northwest Harris County, Montgomery County. I have broken these areas down. This is pretty much where I work. I'm on the north side of Houston. I cover anything from the Beltway up to Lake Conroe, from Kingwood over to Cyprus. So this is why I'm tracking these areas. And I'll break this down for you here real quick. So let's jump into it because we're seeing some monster appreciation that we've seen historically over the last 12 months. So that's gonna be tracked on the far right over here, these columns here are the appreciation rates we're seeing for these areas. So Northwest Harris County over the last 12 months, 16.8% appreciation, a monster number. You can see here the uh, average sales price, 386, 626 uh, over the trailing 12 months. That's the number there. All of these numbers here are just incredible trackers to keep an eye on here. Average days on the market, 22. This is down five days from the year before. Months of inventory, we are still hovering at less than one month of available inventory. What that means is if no new homes hit the market, not one more new listing came on the market, we would be done out of homes in less than a month on the market, that's it. So homes sold, this is the crazy part, what we're seeing here, because uh, I did break this number down, 943 home sales. Guys, if we go back to like 2020, pre-COVID, going right into the COVID pandemic, home sales are actually up 10%. How can that possibly be? How can we have increased homes with decreased inventory? What's that showing you guys is that this isn't going anywhere. This low inventory, we're here. We're kind of in it for a little bit more of the long haul because these homes are being purchased and bought up so fast, we can't even replenish our supply. So we've got more homes selling this year in the month of March than we did two years ago with less inventory. That is what is driving our crazy home values right now. So. Home sellers have been in the driver's seat for about 12 months now. An average kind of a balanced market is gonna be six months of supply. And you can see right here, we're, we're less than a month. This is why it's a seller's market. Um, and home buyers are having to compete with almost every single offer that you're writing. I don't care what price range you're in. Uh, first time home buyers really are now kind of up to $300,000, super competitive edge of the market. But we've seen, as I reported last month, that the upper end, the luxury market, 750 and above, saw the biggest gain over last year. They were up like 55% in sales. So really it's the entire market. It's not just the first time home buyers that are having to compete. But I can tell you, there's still deals to be had. There's still ways to write your offer in a very attractive way to get noticed by the sellers. There's different strategies that I'm employing every single day when I'm writing offers for my buyers and we're winning these contracts. So it's possible to do. You just have to have the correct expectation going into it and then also team up with a top-notch agent who's got your back and can help put you guys in a position to win. And then um, home sellers right now, again, you've kind of been in the driver's seat. You still have to prepare your home for the market. I don't care what people say, just stick a sign in the yard. Um, it doesn't work quite that way. We have a dialed in system here. We have a top-notch home stager that we work with, top-notch real estate photographer, and it's about preparing your home so that a buyer can envision themselves in the home. That being said, let's jump back to the numbers. Montgomery County, as you track across here, 15.16% appreciation. Again, a monster number. I think if you look through here, the lowest rate we saw, what, 14% around Lake Conroe? That's the lowest. I mean, that just shows you right there how crazy this is. Look at the woodlands hovering at 21% appreciation right now, and their inventory is so depleted. I mean, almost a half month of supply. So let's break down a, a few more numbers here because I want to talk about this category, active listings here. For Northwest Harris County, right now, if we compare this to 2020, the COVID pandemic going into that, our current active listing, our inventories are down 65%. So when you talk about record appreciation, we have a record low in terms of available inventory right now, 65% below where we were two years ago. And this is going into the spring and summer selling season. So uh, Montgomery County, I tracked your numbers too. You've currently got 
1,906 homes on the market, you're down 48% from 2020. As far as homes sold, let's move over to this category here for Northwest Harris County, you're up 10% from 2020. Montgomery County, your total home sales, 1,304, you're up 37% over 2020. And then again, the inventory, this is the big driver right now. This is shocking right now at 0.8 and 1.5 for Harris and Montgomery counties. So they're, they're pretty close. The numbers actually are, but inventory in Harris County is down 69% compared to two years ago. Montgomery County is down 62 and percent. So just incredible numbers. And as I mentioned earlier, I don't see this changing anytime soon. Interest rates that are going up right now, that will probably put some buyers on the sideline as they kind of want to hang out and, and see what's going to happen with that. Uh, that could sideline some buyers and, and allow inventory to catch up a little bit. But we're playing from so far behind right now, it's going to take a massive influx of homes on the market to tip the scales back to anywhere close to what we normally see, which is about three or four months of available inventory. A couple of things I wanna point out down here, I've tracked new construction as well. So for Harris County and Montgomery County, we're gonna run through these numbers. You'll see the appreciation rate hovering about 9% for new homes and 14% up in Montgomery County. I just think there's more construction going on up there in Montgomery County, there's a little bit more land. And so we're probably seeing that a little bit. You can see the inventory rates here though, are a little bit higher than what we see for resale, 1.4 months and 2.5 months. So if you are looking for a new home, there are some options out there. I've got a couple of clients I'm working with right now that are building instead of going the resale route. It also gives them time to get their home properly prepared and put on the market. New construction is still a viable option for you guys. You can still get a good deal. You can see the new home prices are hovering around 380, uh, 375 right there. Again, look at the, the actual listings available. There's, there's a good amount of inventory out there. So 5,000 foot overview, the trends continue that you've probably heard and probably seen. We've got inventory decreasing right now. We've got days on market that are decreasing. Sales are increasing. Home prices are increasing. So this is just kind of the perfect storm right now, especially for home sellers. Uh, you guys are in prime position to get top dollar for your property. And home buyers, like I said, there's still opportunities for deals out there. You just got to know how to prepare your offer and present them in the right way to get yourself noticed and chosen above these other competing offers. I hope this provides a pretty good snapshot for you for what's going on in the Houston real estate market for the month of March. Um, again, I see this continuing through uh, into the summer season. If there's anything you guys need as it relates to real estate, if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing, you need to reach out to me today or even sooner. Let's get together and get a game plan that we can go out, we can find a great new place to call home, or we can put you in a prime position as a seller in today's market to get top dollar, sell your home in just a couple of days. Either way, I've got your back when it comes to buying, selling, or investing in real estate anywhere in the greater Houston area. If this is your first time visiting this channel, hit that subscribe button and smash that bell because who doesn't like smashing things, right? We'd love your support. That way you can be notified anytime we're putting out a new video because we're putting up quality content every single week.